Welcome back. An important aspect of the Golden Triangle's ability to attract big business is based on tangible factors that are already in place. Thanks to the Tennessee Tom Bigby Waterway and other infrastructure investments that are already here, the area has a competitive advantage over its neighbors. Leaders in our region view the Ten Tom Waterway as a highway you can use to fluidly transport materials and products from one destination to the other. It could be the very reason why the Golden Triangle was so desirable to manufacturers. The Golden Triangle Development Link is intentional about having infrastructure in place before striking a deal with a major corporation. Here's Joe Max Higgins during our tour at the North Star Industrial Park. With Yokohama, we had our first visit like in November and uh, they picked their site by April. It works that quick. So the more you have done, and it's just not a building, water, sewer, all in place, roads in place. I mean, can you imagine if we owned this land but we didn't have this road? Hell, this road will take a year to build. Link leaders believe the workforce, although not entirely in Clay, Octibaha, and Lowndes counties, the regional base, is readily available. We draw a workforce from more than just these three counties. When we get these large um, international companies here, we find that people from all over both states come to work here. So um, it's the quality of the company that we're able to attract and we're able to do that with the quality of people that we have and the quality of resources. You can't discuss resources in the Golden Triangle without mentioning the Tennessee Tom Bigby Waterway. You know, I kind of uh, liken it to having an interstate, uh, you know, come through your county or your city. You know, does it guarantee that you're going to have success or generate new economic development? No, it doesn't. However, if you've got someone who's willing to uh, take the initiative to create the industrial parks or the ports and things like that so that it's available to business and industry, then that will eventually lead to opportunity. The administrator for the Tennessee Tom Bigby Waterway Authority, Mitch Mays, says the water is a job creator and a tax revenue generator for cities counties and the state of Mississippi. Columbus has done really well with their port. Lowndes County Port has a lot of business and industry that uses that port. Uh, Steel Dynamics, for, for instance, would not be here were it not for the Ten Tom Waterway. The majority of their scrap metal comes in by barge. It's a very, barge is a very safe and efficient mode of transportation and it's very cheap compared to the other modes of transportation. May says the Waterway Authority's plan for the future is to increase its workload and deepen the 10 times channel to 12 feet. It will take a deepening study from the Corps of Engineers and support from elected officials. Why is that important to Mississippi in this area? Well, the, the heavier or more cargo you can load into a barge, the more you can carry and save in transportation. So that makes our area more attractive to business and industry. And, and ultimately, that's what we want to do. We want to give a business or an industry more reasons to say yes to locating in our area. And that's one of the things that they would consider is, you know, the logistics and the cost of logistics. In part three of our series, Golden Opportunities Thriving in the Triangle, we'll, we'll hear from Lieutenant Governor Dober Hoseman on how and why legislators struck a deal to become the nation's largest aluminum manufacturer.